Yeah, Jay, and there are several reasons that this inauguration day is historic, but there has been special focus on Kamala Harris, who is basically a vice president of firsts, the first female, the first black, and the first Asian American VP. Of course, we want to get our coverage started in Washington, D.C. with NBC's Alice Barr. And one thing that wasn't missing at today's ceremony was all of the pomp and circumstance that comes with this great tradition. And for those of us here in Cleveland, Alice, can you tell us what it was like there today? Yeah, Betsy, so I watched the parade pass by here from Lafayette Park across from the White House. It was unusual because you didn't have crowds of supporters, you know, lining Pennsylvania Avenue the way that you normally would. In fact, uh, this viewing stand with a lot of media here may have been the largest group of people pretty much that they saw along the route. But, yeah, you, there's no taking away from the historic significance of today and, and the traditions that really rang, I think, even more importantly throughout the day today. It was also a day for focusing on a shared history aimed at bringing Americans back together. Outside the U.S. Capitol that helped shape his life and career, Joseph R. Biden today becoming the 46th president of the United States and vowing to serve every American. This is our historic moment of crisis and challenge, and unity is the path forward. The rituals of the peaceful transfer of power taking on deeper meaning in the very spot where a violent mob tried to derail democracy. It did not happen. It will never happen. Facing a field of flags in place of the supporters who could not safely travel here, President Biden vowing to beat back the pandemic and bridge the jagged political divide. We must end this uncivil war that pits red against blue. He explicitly condemned white supremacy on a day when this country marks a milestone moment. To our first African American, our first Asian American, and our first woman vice president. Vice President Kamala Harris taking her oath of office and smashing barriers of gender and race. So help me God. Her predecessor, Mike Pence, standing by, along with three former presidents who joined President Biden to pay respects at Arlington National Cemetery. The outgoing president leaving Washington this morning, the first in 152 years to skip his successors swearing in. Now former President Trump telling a small group of supporters. I will always fight for you. I will be watching. President Biden taking his place in the White House in a moment of ceremony and celebration, but also solemnity. The new president immediately getting to work, eager to sign more than a dozen executive orders, including on climate change and mask wearing, also unveiling a sweeping immigration reform bill. The self-proclaimed average Joe, who sought America's highest office for decades, now begins the true test of governing and turning ideals into reality. Beginning with the church service this morning, the president and prominent Republican leaders took several opportunities to reach across the aisle. A clear exchange of olive branches, though it's unclear how long it will last. Betsy, back to you.